Hello everyone, my name is Gastron Jufang. I'm a consultant here at Release Team. And today we're going to talk about the GitLab Mesh Request Approval Rules. What they are and how to use them. Let's get started. So if we look at the GitLab documentation, it says that the Mesh Request Approval Rule defines how many approvals can be applied to a Mesh Request before that Mesh Request can be merged. It also helps you define who will be those approvers on the Mesh Request. Let's say you want specific members of your team to be the approvers of all merge requests to specific branches as main, master, release, or any feature branch. You want to use this feature to enforce that rule. It can also be used in conjunction with the code owner and can be configured at the instance level. Note that this feature is available for the premium tier and the ultimate on GitLab.com, self-managed, and GitLab dedicated. Now let's go see it in action. The merge request approval rules in GitLab can be configured at two different levels, the group level and the project level. Let's start with the group level configuration. Here we are in the demo group. In order to access the feature, you go to setting, you click on general, you scroll all the way down, then you will find it here. These are the options available. We want to prevent approval by auto, so we select this option. You also want to prevent approval by user who add comment, so we're going to select this one as well. We will also keep remove all approval when the commit is added selected. So we click save here. These are the only settings available at a group level. So now let's see what is available at the project level. We are on the Torito project under the demo group group. In order to access the feature, we hover over setting and then we click merge request. We scroll all the way down, merge request approval. Here we have our approval rules. We have a security approval and then we have our approval setting. These approval settings are the one available at the group level. We can see that the setting that we did at the group level are grayed out. They cannot be changed. So now let's create a rule. If we go back to the approval rule, we see this default rule that cannot be changed. And then we see one rule that was added called security. We are going to add a new rule. Let's click add approval rule. We give it a name. We're going to call it QA. And then we select the target branch. A target branch can be any branch. It can be main branch, all branches, or a protected branch. Let's select here the main branch. We want two approvers on the mail request before it's been merged. And we want to be specific with the users that can approve the mail request. Let's select two of them, those two. And then we click save. So now the QA approval rules have been added on the main branch and there are two approvers specified here. So that means if there's a mail request against the main branch, it will require these two approvers to approve that mail request before it can be merged. Let's create a mail request to see how the rules apply to it. We go to code. We're trying to update this file. Edit. So I'm trying to update the text file.txt on the code on the Toledo project. This is done against a new branch that I created. Feature 2534, and I'm creating a mail request from that branch to the main branch. And we can see down here that two approval rules apply to this merge request. If we click create merge request, we can see here that the merge request is blocked. The reason being that it requires approval. And we can see the number of approval required here. Now I'm going to log in as a specified users on the approval rule and approve this merge request. Here I'm logging as one of the approvers this, and this is what I see. If I click approve, the merge request is still blocked because we still need one approval. I'm going to log in as the second approver and approve this merge request. So now I'm logged in as the second approver and I can see approve. If I hit approve, now the merge request is ready to be merged. The merge request has been merged. We so hard to be specific to who can approve a merge request or how many users can be the approvers of a merge request. Again, this feature is available for the GitLab Premium and GitLab Ultimate. 